What is up, guys? Senior Fell Handed here. We have a very exciting game in what I like to refer to as the half chat. Do with that what you will. We are on Himmelsdorf. Now, few different schools of thought, okay, when you were in a light tank. Now, tears does not necessarily matter. Well, it does, but it doesn't. Not in this particular case. You can take the top of the hill. However, taking the top of the hill kind of means you are the tip of the spear, so to speak. You are going to meet other light tanks. You are going to do battle. Things are going to happen. I don't necessarily like that, and I'll tell you the reason I don't like that. You'll, like, you'll see some videos of me going up there, but it's mainly under duress. The reason I do not like going up there is because they know I am coming. They know I'm going to be there. The entire methodology here behind the light tank, behind that bat shat method, that mannerism, is sneaking up on folks and then laying the hurt down on them and then leaving. And that's kind of why I'm not a big fan of, you know, them knowing where I'm going to be. Now, back to the game at hand. As you can see here, we have a strong presence moving up here. I decide to kind of slide by here even though I am going to be detected at some point like right now we're just going to get out of here get out of cover this E5 happens not to be looking at me we are going to punish him for that fact I put a track shot in him right there and pin him again two pins and a track I'll take it and a lot of times guys when you get those track shots they end up uh, taking some damage there very very quickly so you end up getting that good good solid assist damage which is what we are all looking for as light slash medium drivers moving on now around the corner here we have a french tank destroyer and something else and the thing is i'm waiting for the gun to be up but i am also waiting for them to not be looking in my direction now this gentleman right here this is my own fault i know i get shot but i swear I thought he was looking at someone else. Famous last words. Anyway, boom. Two kills right there. The Trinity and the French Tank Destroyer. They are dead. I am not. We are moving on and reloading. Uh, it's a bit tricky when you're going over terrain like this, especially Nom Nom, because it's that uneven, snowy ground kind of makes your, your little tank toss and turn. Uh, so you kind of have to keep that keep that under control we decided to take a, a turn here our idea is we're gonna come up here come behind the clickers and everything over here and just kind of dump the mag and and move on uh, we've got a good shot there at the clicker we removed him from the map we've got a good shot here ah oh, we derped it good shot here on the back of the chief we put a round in him and you know what instead of going back the way I came I decided to be sassy with it and go back down here where they're at that's just how I am. I'm probably going to get shot for it is exactly what I thought. But somehow I didn't. Well, and you know, they kind of had more pressing matters at hand. Uh, the, the scoreboard there at the top is kind of looking even, more or less. We do have a 5100 up here. Very concerned about that. We don't necessarily want to fall foul of him uh, because he will clip us out with a quickness. So we kind of want to go up here while he is looking at someone, while he's engaged, and just pump rounds into him. We've got him lined up right here. He's not looking at us. We're going to put rounds in his fanny. First round sh uh, shatters his engine. Second round murders him. And we're dumping the mag now, and we're rolling again. Essentially, guys, when you are in any type of fast, medium, or light tank, you need to focus your energies towards being opportunistic, which is exactly what we're doing. We're looking at the map, we're, we're looking at isolated targets, we're taking folks out. That is exactly what we're doing. Uh, as far as up here, we kind of have this gent over here. We don't want to get shot by him, but at the same time, he needs to go bye-bye. Uh, had a good shot at him right there. We didn't even have to lead him uh, because he just literally took off. So we, don't, we know he doesn't have much acceleration, therefore we don't have to lead him. The gun can kind of handle that on its own. Plus, we were close. Moving on, we go ahead and dump the mag, continue on our rampage of destruction, gently strike the wall, and off we go. 
Uh, we're, the idea here is is to kind of come around this corner, sweep all the way down, and possibly, possibly, possibly farm a little bit more damage off one of these two gents. That's kind of the goal uh, right now that we're we're working with. Uh, now, currently, um, these guys are engaged, and that's that's always a dicey proposition because there's always that issue you can't actually <laughs> flying through the air you can't actually get any shots in that guy put a round in me while I was flying through the air I feel some type of way and another bad part is is that I underestimate this guy's reload and he smacks me again so the first one was not my fault the second shot that I took was totally my fault uh, luckily however we are still alive and we're coming about and when we swing by we are going to deprive him of his life for his his atrocities now IS4 tough tank this little bad boy does not have astounding penetration uh, normally I don't run a whole whole lot of heat in it uh, we're just going to line him up right there we put we put a track shot in him and then we put a straight 90 in his side armor back to the garage for you uh, six kills, Top Gun, Talk to Me Goose. We made it happen. Uh, just a lot of movement, a lot of of shucking and jiving, uh, here, there, everywhere. So, and that's kind of what you have to do as a light tank, medium tank driver. Guys, I really hope you enjoy. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And one day this week, we are going to have a giveaway. See you guys next time.